Hi everyone. We're going to have a play with a jelly plate this morning and I'm going to try and create some collage papers with texture. I've got these boards here which I've developed from um, a technique that I used during my days when I was making collagraphs using a printing press but I'm going to try to use these on the jelly plate just to see what happens. So for this plate here I just applied some PVA glue and then I coated it with some carborundum which is like a very fine sand and it gives um, the paint something to grip onto. I haven't tried this on the jelly plate yet so I'm just going to have a little experiment and let you watch along while I try some different things to make some texture on the paper which I'll then cut up for my I'm doing an in-person class on abstract landscape collage in a couple of weeks so I just wanted to have a little play myself before I uh, teach the course. So you can watch along and see if you pick up any ideas while I'm working there. Okay, so I hope you enjoy. Here we go. So I've got a selection of paints here. I like these graduate acrylic ones. I'm in the in the UK. These are from Hobbycraft, so you get these on offer. Quite quite good paints for the jelly plate. But use whatever you've got in your own country. That's I think the student ones work really well. So. So I'm just creating a nice even layer here. So for the course, I'm going to stick to cool colours. Um, I want to sort of stick the sort of blues and greens. So that's the sort of selection I've got here. Usually with something on the opposite side of the colour wheel. So I've got a kind of coppery colour here, which looks beautiful next to that sort of teal blue. Right, we'll go for this one first and just see what happens. I'm just pressing it on gently. Oh, it's got quite a nice texture. Try this one. And you could you could fill a whole plate, and so you're not going to get these lines. But as I say, these papers are going to be chopped up anyway, so I'm not too worried about the the lines in between. So I've got a bit of wet strength tissue paper here. I'm just going to start off with this one. See what this picks up. So, sort of what I'm looking for is something like rock formations or um, lines that you get in the landscape. That's the sort of feeling that I'm trying to achieve here. So I think that's something similar to what I'm looking for um, so this is like a newsprint this works quite well for collage because it's nice and thin so I'm just going to try a bit on here so to take a ghost print a ghost print is like the second print so you're pulling up all the paint you tend to get a lighter print but it picks up more detail often so that's quite nice Let's try again. I'm going to put a different, try that coppery colour. I'm not going to bother cleaning my roller, I'm just going to mix it together. Okay, so I'm going to try some different texture here. I don't want it to be all in one line, so I'm going to vary. The way that I'm putting this down, just I maybe don't want the square, so I'm just gonna angle that and just hit it in the middle there. And I'm gonna go over the top here again, pick up all the bits I missed. Yeah, so you could have possibly um, something like a fence at the front of the, the scene that could come in. Let's have a look. Try a bit of this lighter colour here. Again, I've got some of that copper on there, so that's going to mix in quite nicely. So if you're using colours that go well together, when they mix together, it just makes them 
more harmonious when you get when they're all mixed together. What about some? Broken lines. This fabric. So when you're creating a collage, uh, so like a landscape or something, it's good to have papers. So some are light and some are dark and some are mid-tone. So you're creating visual depth within your painting. Think of the collage as a painting as well, but you're just using a different medium. So that would, this would go in one of the lighter piles and this would be one of your darker tones. So you're working together with the, the different tones. Try another one. Okay, maybe a little darker one here. Tiny bit of black mixed in with the indigo. I want to see what happens when I mix this oops, darker one. Once this paint dries, I'll be able to use these again. So they'll be fine to use several times. I didn't press too hard there, you notice, because I don't want to push all the paint into the gaps. I'm trying to just take the print lightly. Ah, oh, see that's lovely. It's just really picked up all the details there with the darker colour. And then I'm going to go over this one again to create another layer. I need to press a little bit harder this time because there's less paint and I'm trying to pull all the paint off the plate. Right, I'll try one more. I want to go for some more of that coppery colour. I don't think I really want this black. So you can also draw into the plate using like a cotton bud so if you wanted to create some more organic shapes if you take the, the bud and just kind of roll it loosely it's like you're drawing with a pencil this one here anything at all that's not sharp it's going to be fine to make some impressions on my plate This is a silicone tool. I think these are primarily for working with clay, but they work well on the jelly plate. I might introduce another bit of texture here with the um, bubble wrap. Gently pressing it. I don't want to lose that line work. I'm going to try 
I've got a piece that I'd already worked on here for um, the plant, so I might use that just to have something different in my collage papers. So it's got some interesting textures there with the broken lines coming through. See what happens if I put a lighter colour on. Just cleaning off my roller a little there. So I've got the titanium white, which is quite an opaque white. Something going on here. Must have been a bit of water in the, the roller that's transferred there. Might be a problem. Ah, I can see some water splashed. So when you wash them, sometimes the water gets inside them and that can give you damage your prints, but not to worry. Um, so let's try these on the white. A bit more. A different ruler. So I want quite thick paint for this technique just so that the, it's going to pick up the detail. So I think I'll go back over the top of this one again just to see what happens. Mm. Not picked up the detail as well as the dark colour but again an interesting pieces of this that might work. See much on there. So I think that's possibly the most successful one. So that was done with the the black mixed with a tiny bit of indigo. Pick up the detail, so you can see the difference there. But when these are ripped up and placed together, that could be quite interesting. This one here, I like. We're working with these together as a story to build up a, a layer and an image. We're getting somewhere. So I hope you've enjoyed that little video. So if you want to subscribe, that would be great. Um, and I'll hopefully be able to post some more videos for you soon. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.